Good morning. Hi. Um, I'm going to do a day in the life, two months out from being paralyzed. Uh, I'm super excited to kind of show you guys everything that goes into it and it's kind of an appreciation video for my mom and my sister for all that they do because the clock never ends and we do stuff 24 7 so i just woke up and as you can see i'm laying on my side and i have to sleep on my side and switch sides so my mom and sister are gonna take turns every two to four hours flipping me from side to side so i don't get any bed sores because i can feel my body but i can't feel pain in a sense so if something's uncomfortable y'all can just adjust a little bit but i can't feel that so we have to adjust me anyways so i just woke up and have to wait for someone to come in uh to get me up because i cannot do that yet oh i guess i'm so hard i haven't had a coke today that's <laughs> that's why but i have to sleep in these and i call my mr Krabs. um and basically they keep my fingers from not like curling into a little ball. So it helps with my tenodesis and all that fun stuff. So in the morning, first thing I make them do is take them off. You know what my hands look like when they come out of it? They're just, it's weird. Cause it's like weird. And then we wash my hands. All right, so this is a day in the life and my life consists of being with my mom and my sister. 24 7 so i'm gonna introduce you this is my mom <laughs> and this is my sister mariah and they're gonna explain some of the stuff that they do as well as me explain some stuff so hit it mariah these are the wedges that we use to hold michaela to her side so my mom will turn her and michaela helps us by hooking on to her bed and we just shove them under there and then when she comes back down she is on her side. So we have to do that every two to four hours during the night. Michaela also sleeps in these awesome boots. That were that made were, just for her. Yes, made just for her. And they prevent her feet from dropping. So we put them on about nine o'clock and take them off about eight in the morning. So now I'm giving Michaela her medicines. She takes them at when she wakes up, lunchtime, dinner time, and when she goes to bed. So she takes a lot of medicine. Now it's time for me, my mom's least favorite part of the morning. Um, we're putting her, Michaela's compression socks on her and they are the tightest things ever and they take us like 10 minutes each leg. So you get to watch us struggle to put them on. finally got her Ted hose on. They go all the way to her toes and Michaela has to wear this because people with spinal cord injuries have their blood pressures all over the place. So these socks keep her blood pressure up and she also wears an ab binder that keeps her blood pressure up as Which well. Goes under my clothes. It looks like that goes under her clothes and it is very important when we put these on that there are no wrinkles in them because that a single wrinkle could cause Michaela to have AD. All right, now they finished dressing me and putting all my little gears on. And now they're gonna put me in a sling so that I can get in a lift and get into my chair. This is Michaela's lift that we used to get her into her wheelchair. And this is what her sling looks like. It's a swing, basically. <laughs>
This is Michaela's painting she did in rehab. It's of her cat Kevin in a wheelchair. Show Kevin, show Kevin. Kevin's down there under the table. Kevin's not actually in a wheelchair, but. So I'm gonna wear a beanie today and you might be like, it's 60 degrees, but people with spinal cord injuries, so our nervous systems are very all over the place, trying to figure itself out, especially because my injury is so recent. Mine's really crazy. So I'm not able to regulate heat and temperature basically. So if it's a little bit chilly out, it feels really cool to me. And then I can go from really cold to really hot. Like when you have a fever, but I'm not sick and I don't have a fever, it just feels like that. So it's sixties, but I'm wearing a sweatshirt, sweatpants and a beanie. But it's also cause it's Texas and it's cold for us. <laughs> All right, Miss Mariah is doing my skincare for me. And then I'm gonna brush my teeth cause that's something I've been practicing. Um, and fun fact, I can't sweat anymore. So I don't know the actual whole medical terminology for all of this, but you can research it and it's really interesting. Um, but when researching, Spinal cord injuries, you have to remember, everyone's completely different. Um, but I can't sweat. So it's another thing with my nervous system that it's hard for me to regulate heat because when you get hot, you sweat. But mine stays inside of me and then I like overheat. So I can't sweat. So when it comes to the summertime, I'm gonna have lots of spray bottles that I have to spray on me. But we don't have to worry about that right now because it's cool. We just have to worry about keeping me warm. But the plan for today is we're getting ready, which takes a couple hours. Two hours. Two hours if we're doing good. Um, and then I'm gonna open some Amazon gifts. And then we're going to go to Dunkin' Donuts, get some donuts. And then we're gonna go to the grocery store and I'm gonna practice um, getting things off shelves and just kind of being in public because I haven't been in public for two months and now I'm in a wheelchair so it's a little bit different as you can imagine um, and so getting back into society thankfully for me it's been pretty easy and I've been like eager to do it but people uh, typically wait a few months before even going out for the first time and I went out all the way home from rehab but i'm excited to go into public because it's fun i like getting outside the house all right so mariah's gonna help me out a little bit but mariah got the toothpaste on there for me and then can you show the cuff i'm pretty sure this is called a universal cuff there's so many things i learned i can't remember them all but i put my it this way no i need it like the opposite way down remember with the thing on top so the toothpaste doesn't fall? Yeah, I should have done that after. It's okay. I'm putting it on my fingers. There we go, you can't really see it. Get them close, come on. Show them the mirror. Good job. It's her cute mirror. It says, believe in yourself. It's so freaking cute. Whoever bought that for me, thank you so much. You guys are too nice. I'm like, I don't deserve all this stuff. But I'm very thankful for it. All right, it's a little bit later now. We decided not to get Duncan and just wait until lunch and we got Taco Bell. And, mm. that's so good. So, using tenodesis, I'm able to use the strength in my wrist to grab and pick up things. Okay, let's petting Kevin. Kevin's sleeping. Gonna take a nap. 
You have so many crumbs on you. I know, I keep <laughs> wiping my hands on my sleeves. <laughs> Look at her, she's sleeping. Aww. And it's good working on my hands and like being gentle and like. like yeah, know, you're petting right her word? really good right now. That's the right word, like specific of where I put my fingers. It's animal and like with her face, she likes when I rub like right there. I have to be precise because I don't want to poke her eyeball. <laughs> right, we're just chilling at home right now in the family room and I'm going to be on my phone. And since I don't have good grip and strength in my hands, we have to adapt. So we have this just a little grippy thing that a lot of people have and then I need someone to help me put it on my fingers. Let me just Ooh. stick some of my fingers. Connor's helping me. Stick my fingers in there. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. See if Connor's having trouble, I'd really have trouble. Is that good? Is that it? And then yeah, we put my fingers behind, slide it on, and then I can, oh the Siri's going off, stop Siri. <laughs> and then I can hold my phone and then don't look at my password. Oh, I was stalking my own account. Um, <laughs> and then I use my pinky knuckle to swipe and click. So if I don't respond to you, um, I'm really sorry, but my fingers do not work. And it takes so much energy and um, effort. effort and patience to just try and get on my phone. So. When I do, I'm not able to do a lot. We are headed to the grocery store Finally. to practice um, regular human activities and picking up things and putting them in the basket and driving around carts and people in public and all the wonderful things. Look at my minivan. My first car, woo! I love how discreet it is. It's pretty nice. And then I just put my speed on the low speed and I just drive up. Straight into the van. Michaela's limo. My limo. And we make her wear her full chest piece in the car just in case. Precautions. Look into the ground, mm -hmm. seat belt, tighten it, uh, your straps. all the things. This, my camera says it's her celebrity parking pass and that she gets front row parking with it. Everywhere, everywhere we go, front row parking for us. My mom just practicing in random miles trying to grab random things. This, this a... Workers here do not like. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> she got it. I missed yes, the beginning. Let's sir. get another one. Come on. It's like a game. I didn't film a lot because it was super busy, and it was my first time at the grocery store, and so it made me like a little bit anxious. Not gonna lie. Just. But that's okay, part of it, right? But um, yeah, we didn't film a lot. But we will try continue. again later. I'll we'll try again later. Carrying in the groceries. She it's didn't get out of that one. This is way better. I know. There's some <laughs> things you think you'll just get out of, and then your mom finds a way to make you do it. Make you do it. Like carrying in the groceries. 